Good afternoon, everybody. This is William with the Fincastle Underground. Today is June 27th, 2018, and it is 2.56 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. It is time to melt some snowflakes. We have breaking news out of the Supreme Court. We had breaking news yesterday, if, um, or two days ago at this point. If anybody hasn't seen my video titled, The Supreme Court Upholds the Travel Ban, you should go back and check that out. But now, liberal heads are absolutely exploding with the... Uh, announced retirement of Justice Anthony Kennedy. He's on the Supreme Court, and he he has officially announced his retirement today. So you know what this means. Donald Trump, President Trump, gets to appoint another justice to the Supreme Court. For those of you, I would imagine most of my viewers would know how this sort of thing works. Um, with a vacancy in the Supreme Court, the president gets to nominate a replacement, and then the Senate will vote on uh, confirming this this particular person whoever it's going to be and i can imagine whoever it's going to be the liberals are going to have a problem with it but it doesn't matter donald trump has already pointed um one member of the supreme court and that was gorsuch yes neil gorsuch yeah um and he was confirmed i don't think that uh donald trump's going to have a problem getting another one through especially after the midterms but as for anthony kennedy uh if you looked at the travel ban if you look at my story on the travel ban the other day, when the Supreme Court upheld the travel ban, Kennedy voted in favor of it. Uh, he, he had a concurrent opinion with the Chief Justice, and so he was in favor of upholding the travel ban. So I can't imagine, it's not like there's a liberal judge that's going to be replaced. Uh, Anthony Kennedy, as I said, was appointed by Ronald Reagan. Uh, he's been there since February 18th of 1988, and he is retiring. So, who is Donald Trump going to appoint? We have no idea yet. We don't know who he's going to appoint. We don't know what's coming next. Um, I didn't initially intend on mentioning the Supreme Court vacancy right now, but it was news that was breaking as I was getting ready to make the video. Yesterday, I saw a few things floating around that uh, possibly he was going to announce his retirement today, but I didn't hear anything about it all day until just now. Now, of course, it's front page on the Drudge Report. Uh, I have an article here that I'm going to read. This is from the Daily Caller. Uh, by Amber Athey. Liberal meltdown over Justice Kennedy retirement. Liberal activists and journalists are melting down over Justice Anthony Kennedy announcing his retirement from the Supreme Court on Wednesday. Kennedy, who has served as the court's swing vote for decades, has now opened the door for President Donald Trump to finally give conservatives their long-desired court majority. Uh, progressives immediately reacted to Kennedy's retirement with fear, anger, and sadness. And then, of course, it lists a bunch of tweets. Incidentally, this is something new that I um, <laughs> that I, I never experienced growing up because the Internet didn't exist, first of all. But I hardly can read a single article anymore without there being just a bunch of samples from Twitter in there from different people. And, of course, if you roam Twitter long enough, you can find people that agree with anything or disagree with anything. So then they post two or three Twitter posts as if it's evidence of something. It's just some asshole's opinion. In many cases, I never even heard of these people before. But yet a legitimate uh, or a mainstream news outlet will post links to people's Twitter statements as if this is somehow evidence of anything. And it's really not. It's just what some idiot posted on Twitter. So what I was going to talk about, so there's the news for the Supreme Court. Uh, it's still developing. We don't really know where this is going to go, except it's going to go in Donald Trump's favor. I'm certain of that. That's one thing you can be sure of. I was going to talk about the latest QAnon posts. Uh, I know that Q has been really controversial for many of you. I still support Q. I follow Q. I don't care what you have to say about that. It's not going to change my mind, certainly. Um, but I definitely support Q. One of my reasons for that is that Q has only been a message of hope and positivity. He hasn't done anything uh, mean-spirited. He hasn't uh, called for violence. He's not selling anything. So that's why I'm still with Q. And it looks like what's going on with some of this Q stuff is that WikiLeaks itself may have been compromised. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, the first thing, though, and possibly most important, is that Peter Strzok, the FBI agent who was famously having that affair with Lisa Page, where his text messages had, had come into question, this ties back into the IG report of last week. Let me get to this. Q posted testimony from what was supposed to be a behind-closed-doors uh, congressional hearing today. So if this doesn't help validate Q, how else would Q have access to testimony that went on supposedly behind closed doors unless Q was somehow legitimate? But for those of you who wanted to follow along, you can go to QAnon.pub, link in the description. Uh, 
and I'm going to read the transcript to you. Peter Strzok says that texts were taken out of context. Uh, he also said, while emotional over the election, I conduct myself with the utmost integrity, without bias, while undertaking any such investigation, especially in a high-profile case against the POTUS. He also says, in hindsight, it was a bad idea to openly discuss my feelings, but in no way did those feelings impact my ability to conduct a fair and proper investigation. We followed where the facts took us. Uh, he also said, I declined to answer that question on advice from counsel. Uh, and somebody asked him, when you state where the facts led us, what facts are you referring to? To date, there has been zero evidence of any such collusion or connections between the Trump campaign and Russia. In fact, the only facts discovered thus far have been between the Clinton camp and Russia and other foreign groups. And then Peter Strzok replies, on advice of counsel, I decline to answer that question. And Peter Strzok says again, because of the ongoing investigation, such answers may violate the security of such investigations. And then some unnamed person addresses Peter Strzok and says, Mr. Strzok, I believe nobody here is buying what you are selling. I believe there was and is a serious effort on the part of people more senior than you to remove Mr. Trump from office out of fear of what this administration may uncover. I believe you are being dishonest in your answers and frankly shocked you agreed to come here today. I believe everyone on this panel, minus those from the other side of the aisle, knew exactly what your answers would be. And if you think we are going to sit here and accept these answers, you would be a foolish. You would be a foolish. That's where it ends. We are also following the facts, and once we uncover more, which we will, we will act accordingly. I'm glad you retained counsel. You'll need one, and hopefully they are very good. Q. So yes, this was, I know it's a bit long-winded, but this was the post that Q had made um, about what was going on behind closed doors today. Now, the real, um, the controversy, as far as I can tell, between Q they're saying that uh, WikiLeaks has come out and said that Q is trying to uh, impose neoconservative and deep state type um, ideology by wanting to overthrow the government of Iran. Q says here in post number 1604, we stand with the good people of Iran who are currently battling their installed regime for freedom. True rule, the people have the power. Rise up and demand they be removed. At some point, military generals will act with the will of the people simply because their soldiers are those same people and have no choice. We stand with you. We are monitoring the situation closely. Stay safe. God bless Q. So because Q is showing support for people who want to overthrow the Iranian government, they're trying to say that Q himself is a deep state plant or something like that and trying to institute regi regime change. That's not the way I read it at all. This is kind of a make Iran great kind of thing again, a populist movement where the people themselves would overthrow the government. Uh, in case you are ignorant of history, if you look back to Iran as recently as the 1970s, it was a very, very prominent world power. It was um, pretty much just as Western as anywhere you'd get today in the Western world. Uh, women were uh, allowed to have uh, contemporary fashions or people in contemporary clothing, business suits and things like that. Uh, the way that Iran now is is basically what happened, I think, towards the early 1980s, late 1970s. I'm not totally up on my Iranian history. All I know is that the government they have now is a very far cry from what Iran once was. Iran used to be um, sort of a model in the Middle East of, of um, I don't want to say democracy, but I'd say of Western values, certainly. It, it's only recently that they're running around as regressives now, that they've got all these problems over there. So more on that later. What else do we have here? Oh, I wrote, put down post number 1,595. This ties back into WikiLeaks now. Um, Q posts, desperate agencies do stupid things. Dead cat bounce. You may have the site, but we have the source. And then he puts a link on here to a, a Twitter thread. Panic is good. Panic is right. July 2018, the month the world discovered the truth. Conspiracy no more. Time to feed. Q. Uh, what this seems to be a reference to, and I was doing some more research on this before the Supreme Court thing broke. I just wanted to get this video out as soon as I heard that. But uh, it looks like some aspect of the deep state has taken over WikiLeaks and is putting out propaganda through WikiLeaks. But uh, it seems that the, the White Hats, the good people involved with Team Q 
and the um, the Great Awakening crowd. They actually have Julian Assange himself. There's been recently in the news, um, Mike Pence is going to Ecuador or communicating with the people, um, the ambassador and president of Ecuador, and there is some speculation that this is able to, to negotiate freedom for Julian Assange. In case you didn't know, Julian Assange had been held up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Uh, if you don't know how the embassy system works, basically uh, Ecuador has an embassy pretty much all over the world. Every country does. But uh, the Ecuadorian government embassy in London is sort of like Ecuadorian territory. So Julian Assange has been allowed to be in that embassy. If he were to set, step foot out onto the streets of London, he would then be in England, legally speaking, and uh, they would have arrested him there. But as long as he stayed in the Ecuadorian embassy building, he was technically on Ecuadorian soil in a weird diplomatic kind of way. So Mike Pence has uh, got some goings on with the president of Ecuador. That's what I was in the middle of researching before I, I pushed record. So I'm not totally up to date on that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That was basically everything I wanted to talk about in my notes. Um, I'm working on the capability of going live so that we can have a conversation back and forth. I really like going live with you guys and talking back and forth and getting your, your input in real time. But I got to wait on the phone company to do something about that. Or the internet company. This guy you know, says there are no phone companies anymore. They're only internet companies. But you're splitting hairs there. All right, guys. Follow QAnon. I would encourage everybody to go back and look at my videos of the past couple days, especially where I was live at the Red Hen. Um, there's a lot more going on with that story than, than you would ever get in the mainstream media. Also, I have to tell you this. Go down in the description. I don't put shit in the description for my health, guys. If there's stuff in the description, it's stuff that you should take a look at. Um, there is a music video called Q Anonymous by Flo White. F-L-O White, like the color. It's hilarious. I don't know why this guy hasn't gone viral yet. I want to tell everybody that's watching me to click. I put a link down in the description of my video. Definitely check it out. But that's everything that's going on now. It's not to say I won't be back on later. Uh, I'm definitely following the Supreme Court thing uh, with bated breath. I can't wait to see how things play out here. Have a fantastic day, guys, and I will talk to you later.